we're going to pop inside now. We're going to ask Michelle the million dollar question. How much does it cost to go away for the weekend? Drop your answers in the comments. See if you can guess what we're going to spend by the end of this weekend away, because this is our budget special. I don't know how much anything costs when we go away at the weekend. I just normally look at somewhere, think that looks nice, and book it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is another Van Over Collective video, but this one's a bit different. This one is about our money saving tips. We're going to take you on a journey of a weekend away for me and Michelle. Money saving tip number one. Stay local to where you are. Who needs to go miles when you're going away for the weekend? We've deployed ourselves a 50 mile radius and you can see how much of the country that covers from our postcode. Um, we're going to look for somewhere that isn't very far away. We've plumped for the little market town of Tiverton. It's exactly 50 miles in each direction. We're working on the idea that this way we'll, our van does about 28 to the gallon, so we'll use about three and a half gallons of fuel to get us there and back. So there we are, 50 miles each way, about 28 to the gallon, so three and a half gallons of fuel. Fuel price this morning was 142.9. So guesstimation means our first spend for the weekend, £28.30. Not bad for your fuel costs. Top money saving tip number two. Try a different site. So we joined the caravanning and camping club because they do what they call um, holiday, holiday. Num, 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 num. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. Temporary holiday, Temporary holiday sites. sites. And we've worked out we can go away for the weekend for about 20, 25 pound. That's just for the site. So just basic, filled with lots of other like-minded people all doing the same thing. I guess at this point, I should probably add to what Michelle was saying about campsites. I guess at this point, I should point out that actually our usual sort of modus operandi is to scan through your phone, go, oh look, pitch up, I've got X, Y, Z. Oh look, the caravan club have got X, Y, Z, but we end up spending 35, 40 pound a night without blinking an eye. Our guilty pleasure is a little place called Ladrum Bay. It's um, not very far away. If, in my mileage calculation of let's say miles, it wouldn't be any further away. The difference is it is five star. It has its own private beach at the bottom. If you've not seen the video, there's one in the playlist somewhere, go find it. But it would have set us back this week 78 pound a night because we've hit high season and it has everything and it's not just that if you're going for budget it would have blown the budget because it's got a bar it's got a restaurant there is no way you're gonna not go and partake in a beverage or five is there let's be honest which nicely brings us back to our field temporary holiday site two nights 24 pounds 60. Let's add that to the revolving total. Top money saving tip number three. We're going to talk about National Trust membership. Now, we buy it monthly. We've done for years. It costs us, I think, about £12 a month. It's, it's not a lot. We are saving parts of England's heritage, so it's well worth the money. Um, it gives us access to like, about 500 different places around the country. Uh, lots of free parking along the coast. And, like today, we're off to a little place called Night Haze, which is just up the road from Tiverton. Um, but it's going to give us a great day out for absolutely nothing. We'll try and grab the actual prices for going in, but I think it's about £15 an adult. So actually, as long as we go to one every couple of three months, you're never out of pocket. And you're saving the history of the country. It's a win-win.
Top money saving tip number four. Camac members discount. Well, you didn't think we'd come here and not grab coffee and cake. But let me show you how to get a great deal on it. Tastes nice. Mm. That is lovely. Always good cakes. Mm. Not a bad price either. Mm. How much was it? Cake. I know the whole lot was eleven pounds. They were two ninety five a slice. So here it is, the magic of the Caravan and Home Club discount scheme. Hidden away in their website, in your members' benefits, there are some excellent offers. One of our favourites is this one. We buy, in advance, a National Trust gift card. Now, you're not saving masses, but we save 8%. 8% every single time we use it. So when we spent £11.50 on our cakes, we actually only spent £9.20. Simple to buy, you go on the website, clickety-click-click. I've covered up these bits, but clickety-click-click. And away you go. They deliver it, and then you can shop it. You don't have to use it all in one go. You can use £2, £5, but it's a great money-saving tip. So, just to recap, top money-saving tips. Stay local. Check out different types of sites. Use your National Trust membership well. Check out the Camac discount scheme. See what you can save. I'm going to list down quickly down here. Look how little we actually spent on two days away. If you guessed at the beginning of the comments, you can give yourself a big tick if you got anywhere near close. But if you're like me and thought it was probably a couple of hundred quid, we had a bargain weekend away. Shows it can be done on a budget. Catch you next time.